Hello lovelies, welcome back once again to my channel. This is myself here. It is always pleasant to have you here. If today is your first time stopping by, a warm welcome to you. Do not hesitate to subscribe and be part of this family. Today I'm sharing with you my Jollof Spice Blend. You will love this recipe. So if you are interested in this video, please stick and stay with me till the end. But of my subscription. You proud to be part of my sub's kitchen. I have here my homemade curry powder, paprika powder, onion powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, dried basil, nutmeg. I have here my black peppercorn, African nutmeg, fenugreek, bay leaf, fennel, white peppercorn. So in my skillet, I will put all this beautiful natural spice into my skillet and toast this for about three minutes to extract more oil. When it's done, I'll pour it into my plate and let it cool off before it goes right into my grinder. As always, I will list all the ingredients in the description box below. Do not forget to check it out. I will add in my basil and then blend this all together until it becomes smooth. If today is your first time stopping by, a warm welcome to you. Do not hesitate to become part of this family. So in my bowl, I'll add in my curry powder, paprika powder, onion powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, nutmeg. And then I'll come in with my spice blend. And then mix this all together until it becomes well mixed. All these spices can be found in your pantry. You don't have to buy all these again. And we are making cooking very easy in this way. This spice blend makes cooking very easy. You don't have to be opening containers to be taking spices out of it when you are cooking. When you open just one container, you are done and ready to go. This is suitable for all your tomato based stew, soup, jollof rice and what have you. Just look at this beautiful color. Do not forget to store this in your airtight container. So anytime you pick this bottle, you will know that it is fully packed with natural spices and it tastes amazing. I did not add any salt to this spice blend. I did it intentionally because I can always add salt when I'm cooking. But if you prefer to add salt, please go ahead and do so. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe and also hit on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will be first to know. And to my returning subscribers, God bless you. I appreciate your support so, so much. Just look at this. Beautiful. I will put the link of my homemade curry powder underneath this video. Please don't forget to check the description box. And you can keep the spice blend in an airtight container for up to about six months but i don't think it will last to six months it will be gone until i come your way next time with another delicious recipe bye for now smack like eight